tree, but he has everything he needs. He has food, water, home, clothes, parents, and grandparents to love us. Not like children in places. But our houses of which are volcano eruptions. I didn't realize how lucky I was until my family went on a holiday to Chiang Mai. What I remember most was visiting a village high on the hills. On the way up, I was very tired and vomited in the minivan. <laughs> Mummy said it made the van smell disgusting. <laughs> But all the passengers were very kind and didn't complain at all. When we got there, I was starving. I munched happily on a bun. As we wandered around the village, the women were dressed in the most amazing costumes, and I loved looking at the pretty dolls in the stalls. Just then, three boys dashed past me. They were playing catch. I turned to Mummy and asked, "Mummy, why are those naughty boys running around with no shoes?" Then Mummy said, "Stole them." I remember Mummy had a very strange look on her face. Now I know she was trying hard not to laugh. She hugged me and told me very gently, "Darling, those boys are not wearing shoes because they don't have any. Look, their shirts and shorts are also torn and dirty, not because they are naughty and careless." But because they are poor, I didn't really understand what being poor meant. Even when Mummy explained, it meant having no money to buy things. After all, nobody in Singapore seems to be having that problem. If I had been a little older, I might have even said, "If they have no money." Why don't they use a credit card? <laughs> We came to a store selling shorts. Two children were sitting there. A little girl who was about six or seven, and her baby brother. They both looked hungrily at the bun I was eating. Mummy saw them and asked. Mary, what you want to say about to the children? I shook my head. These are my buns. Mummy tried again. Mary, you already have one bun. Why don't you give these two extra ones to the children? But I want more, Mummy. I don't think you're really that hungry, are you? I nodded. Not as hungry as them. I looked at the children. They were barefoot and dressed as shabby as the boys earlier. Their faces were timid and thin. Okay, mommy, I said. We sat down together and ate our buns. They finished long before I started mine. Mummy was right. They were hungrier than me. I learned a lot about kindness and really enjoyed myself in Thailand. Hawkers would cook something special for me, as I could not eat spicy food. Massage centers let me use the bed for my naps. But Dandy and Mummy were getting the Thai massages. Tuk tuk driver slow down with his hours of rain. Now I'm back in Singapore. I still communicate to others in different ways. I help with my classmates with their homework, but making sure no one is left out when we are playing games. I'll teach my baby brother Mickey.
Harry the Tarby both won first. Now Mickey is also learning to be kind. When Mummy puts me in the naughty box and I cry, Mickey stops playing his toys to come and stroke me on the cheek and says, "Sayang, cheer, cheer." <laughs> so I am a truly happy lucky girl, and I hope I'll always remember to be kind to others all the time. Thank you.